so good morning uh, the topic for today's discussion is energy saving potential in buildings through energy efficient design and material selection so buildings are responsible for about 40 percentage of the total energy usage 70 percentage of the total electricity usage and also they emit about 38 percentage of carbon dioxide to the atmosphere so here comes the need for finding an alternative to the conventional building materials used. So uh, in this discussion, we, uh, we familiarize with some of the construction materials that is sustainable construction materials and some improved construction designs or uh, building designs uh, for an energy efficient building. So the energy efficient design mainly focuses on uh, the building envelope which includes the walls, tiles and roofs and also HVAC systems, lighting systems, cladding materials, etc. So as we know, these are the conventional materials which we use, which includes uh, the clay bricks, cement concrete, wooden beams, clay tiles, granite, marbles, etc. So by replacing these conventional materials with some of the energy efficient sustainable materials, uh, we could actually reduce the energy usage of today's fast moving world. So some of the energy efficient materials uh, that we use in construction of walls are sustainable bricks, sustainable concrete, insulation, recycled paper tiles, recycled steel, superphobic planes and glass. So uh, this is an example of a waste to brick. This is actually a brick which is made of plastic waste. As we know plastic contributes to a major uh, source of pollution that is both air, soil and water pollution. So this uh, plastic waste has to be some to have to be eliminated uh, in some modern technologies or uh, can be recycled for the use of uh, any uh, recycled use. So uh, in this brick, the waste particles, the waste plastic materials are added with concrete and molded into the shape of a brick, which can be used for building construction. And the point to be noted is that. This cannot be used for uh, constructing the whole structure. We could only use, to use, it, use this type of bricks for constructing the partition walls of a system. And uh, this is an example of a hemp concrete. Uh, or this is also known as self-healing concrete. Self-healing means uh, if any damages occur to the concrete, it self-heals uh, and self-converts it into the original form. That is a kind of bacteria. Uh, is grown in this type of concrete. The bacteria is capable of producing uh, when water is added the bacteria produces the concrete to its original form. And uh, insulation from waste. Uh, we provide insulation to buildings uh, to provide a thermal comfort in both winter seasons and also in the summer seasons. So these are the two examples of uh, sustainable materials used in insulation. Uh, this is an insulation which is made from newspaper waste and this is an insulation made from smoke. Smoke is actually smoke plus fog that is something emitted from the industries and uh, factories. Uh, actually it is, a, uh, it is something that we capture from the emitted air from the boilers of industries. So the air is purified by using some uh, type of scrubbers and purified air is released to the atmosphere. The rest remaining particles in the air are captured and turned in the form of this, this structure. So this is a smoke insulation and this smoke can be used for insulating the walls to provide a thermal comfort. And uh, coming on to the modified design, we adopt modified design for building, con uh, building construction uh, mainly aims in the maximum usage of sunlight and modified lighting system and also ventilation systems. So next come the, comes the term bionic green architecture. Bionic refers to something which is inspired from the nature. So uh, it is also known as uh, organic architecture and it, uh, in this type of bionic archi architecture humans imitate the natural systems and designs that is uh, for the better use of sunlight and other natural resources. So uh, one of the type of a bionic architecture is heliotrope building. The word heliotrope means self-rotating buildings. So these are some buildings which have uh, which is provided with a tracking that is it aligns to the direction of uh, sunlight that is uh, a series of solar arrays are mounted on the top of these buildings and also this, this is provided with a tracking. This whole building uh, tracks the position of sunlight day by day and it is so that is known as a self rotating uh, building and also 
द विंडोज आर मैन और मैनुफैक्चर्ड इन सच ए वे दैट मैक्सिमम अमाउंट ऑफ सनलाइट एंड वेंटिलेशन एंड ऑल्सो एयर सिस्टम रीचेस द बिल्डिंग इन साइड सो नेक्स्ट इज टर्माइट माउंट वेंटिलेशन so um, as a name itself suggests this type of architecture gets inspires from the normal termite mount a termite mount is something which allows the maximum passage of uh, air that is cold air it provides a thermal comfort inside the mount the temperatures are outside the mount and inside the mount are different so it is a passive cooling system of natural air and also it provides maximum sunlight inside the buildings so this is yet another Uh, uh bionic architecture next is a japanese sunflower fiber optic lighting system uh this is mounted this is the example for japanese uh, fiber optic mounted system uh this is mounted actually at the top of the buildings and uh, it consists of series of uh, cells which traps the sunlight it is actually not converting the light energy but it simply tra- traps the sunlight and through fiber optics and uh, that is through, through fiber cables this uh, sunlight is transmitted into uh, the uh, indoor lighting purposes next is bionic architect structure structures these are the two uh, examples of bionic architecture structures the first one is inspired from the cob web that is a spider's web and the second one is a beetle type architecture now the advantages of modified design and use of sustainable building materials is that first of all it saves energy and also it is a good uh, method uh, for energy conservation and also it is uh, better pro- it provides better environmental quality and carbon dioxide emission is very much lowered it provides a harmony between nature and the environment and also it reduces stress on local resources and also the running cost and uh, maintenance cost is very operation cost is very low for this type of architecture and some of the disadvantages is that uh for constructing this type of uh, sustainable sustainable uh, using the sustainable materials actually the initial cost will be very high then skilled laborers are required for this type of construction and also uh, the difficulty is in material availability also exists so coming on to the conclusion buildings are op- are uh, constructed in a way that maximum natural resources are maximum utilized uh, in the Uh, in, inside itself that is it sustains by itself and also it exists a harmony uh, it exists in such a way that it creates a harmony between the buildings and the nature that is humans and the nature and also improved air quality and better uh, comfort is provided that is energy conservation is done in its maximum limit so this is all about my topic thank you